These are Picasso pieces. Although they haven't been much in the public eye, Picasso designed around 600 different ceramic editions during his last years. At the time, he spent his summers on the Côte d'Azur in the south of France, following earlier trips to the Riviera where he was inspired by the clarity of the light and the bright Mediterranean colours, he started bringing clay to life. The playful pieces that came out, portraying mythological figures, animal shapes, corridor scenes and face motifs, are currently on display. I think this exhibition shows very clearly that he is very much enthusiastic about doing experiments, very open-minded to new materials, to new sources of inspiration and to transforming things he, he finds or to see things in existing forms and transform it to something new. I think that is really uh, very special and hopefully also relevant today. He not only made simple utilitarian objects such as plates and bowls, but also created more ambitious forms, such as pitchers and vases. So Picasso with ceramics uh, uh, developed a, a very intense uh, uh, variety of uh, subjects and forms and shape just to uh, intrigue us and, and, and make us look uh, uh, more precisely at what we are observing. The exhibition is made up of works gathered from Picasso museums in Paris, Antibes and Barcelona, as well as items from the Picasso family's private collection. We have brought 160 unique ceramic pieces to Luciana. It's the first time ever that we will have the chance to see such a great uh, selection of uh, ceramic pieces. Well, this exhibition is special uh, not only because it reassembles uh, uh, almost 200 uh, uh, ceramics uh, made by Picasso, but uh, because of the, uh, the very uh, serious uh, uh, scholar uh, uh, studies who is uh, uh, behind this, this exhibition in showing how, how Picasso creativity de developed in, uh, in almost 20 years. This exhibition is a good opportunity for anyone to observe Picasso's genius through a new medium and to remember once again that it's never too late to begin.